Hello fellow academics from Technological Ecosystems for Enhancing Multiculturality 2021, my name is Tesla, and I am very happy to present here, the work entitled, Scenarios of the Use of Robotics as a Support Tool for Teaching. Let me start by identifying the problem. It is commonly known that we, the robots, are used to aid education in the fields of electronics and computer science. However, our scope for assisting the teaching and learning processes may be much greater. It is likely that we can help catching the attention of students who are in classes that generally don't excite them, especially in the STEAM fields. But just introducing us to the classroom is not enough. Our aim is to find out what makes a robotic application in education successful, by learning from doing it mathematics classes and different educational levels. Thus, our finding may aid teachers and education managers to create effective strategies for the implementation of robotics in the classroom. The idea was to use active learning techniques and robotics to aid in the teaching of mathematics in three different educational levels, elementary, middle, and high school. In all scenarios, attention was measured, which is the means by which we actively process a fraction of an enormous number of stimuli through the senses and other cognitive processes, based on the work by Stenberg consisting of the following indicators, concentration, and task interest. The first scenario was applied in a private school with the Montessori model. Thus, an explanation and didactic materials were provided. Teams were evenly distributed so that all grades would be represented on each participant grade. I participated in one section, and another one was the responsibility of the professor only. The activity was observed and documented by psychology students and a test was applied at the beginning and at the end. Performance, in general, was better by the students of the class where I was present but, although I can be quite attractive, my explanation can be long and overextended. For the second scenario, that of the secondary school, the project was carefully delimited, and the criteria to be governed were established in meetings with teachers, parents, and psychologists. Two sections of sophomores were included in the study, one with the intervention and another as a control group. This time a robotic interaction with the students would occur in four sessions of the mathematics class. The results obtained show that the students who interacted with me and my robot friend showed more enthusiasm and felt more motivated than the students in the other group. The last scenario, high school, was carried out over a year and a half, in which experimental phases would be undertaken, divided into periods of six months each. First, Sessions were planned and designed so that the programming could be done to get us ready for action. The classes were then taught together by us robots and the teacher. My job was to complement the theory that the teacher had provided. Students, once again, were directly observed in the class. We found it that my students had greater motivation, concentration and habituation. To conclude, we can say that even not being a figure of authority, I can provide a new perspective capable of enhancing the teaching learning processes. This study supports the idea of importance of educational robotics, and therefore technologies, in hybrid teaching and innovative learning environments. Boy, this has been exciting! It is time for my human colleagues to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for your attention. Regards from Mexico City.